New York City has a population of 8.3 million people. How do you make sure they all get the water they need? Well, believe it or not, one of New York City's secret is its water supply system. The New York Catskill Aqueduct is truly an engineering marvel. To give you a comparison, the Romans, which were known for their water supply system, the longest aqueduct they had was 57 miles. New York City's Catskill Aqueduct is 92 miles. So, in this episode of Origins, we will cover the history of New York City's Catskill Aqueduct System. The Gilded Age is the era that occurred between 1870 and 1900. This was a period of industrialization and rapid economic growth, especially in the northern United States. As American wages grew much higher than those of Europe, New York City saw a huge influx of migrants. This population explosion caused a spike in demand for the commodity everyone needs, water. At the time, the New York City Board of Water Supply was well aware of the vast amount of fresh water in the Catskill Valleys. Only problem was, this area was inhabited by rural farmers, even having its own prosperous village called Brown Station. What were they to do with this population? The final result was 10,000 acres of land was claimed by the city through eminent domain. Over 3,000 inhabitants were invariably forced out of their homes and lands. What was known as Brown Station is now submerged in 100 feet deep water. It is now the Ashokan Reservoir, an artificial lake that feeds the Catskill Aqueduct that supplies New York City with fresh water. Right behind me is the Ashokan Reservoir. It has about 123 billion gallons of water, and the deepest part is 190 feet. If you ever come here, you realize that this place is supremely peaceful, but behind this peace is power. This reservoir quenches the thirst of millions of New Yorkers every single day. Now that you know how it all started, let's get into the detail as to why the Catskill Aqueduct is so great. Construction of the Catskill Aqueduct began in 1907. What may surprise you is that the entire project took less than 10 years to build. Yep, they built 92 miles of aqueduct in less than 10 years. In fact, the Catskill Aqueduct was already operational in the Bronx in 1915, but it was not fully completed until the year afterward, 1916. The project only took nine years to finish. To give you a comparison, Phase 1 of California's high-speed rail, an initiative that began in 2008, is set to be completed in 2029, and that's just Phase 1. Phase 2 and Phase 3 seem to be postponed indefinitely. The Catskill Aqueduct System came at a total cost of $177 million. When adjusted for inflation, this number is about $2.4 billion of today's dollars. Considering the technical feat and massive length of the project, the cost is nothing short of amazing. Again, to give you a comparison, the Hudson Yards, which was a 28-acre sized project in New York City, came at a cost of $25 billion. And that project was mostly malls and high-rises. I have already mentioned that the aqueduct is 92 miles in length, but the tunnel is not just long, they are also wide. Some parts are as wide as 30 feet, making a human being look quite small. On top of being gigantic, the tunnels also run deep. There are portions of the Catskill aqueduct that run 1100 feet beneath the Hudson River. This is especially amazing when you consider how much of this was done without electricity. By far, the most impressive feature is that just like the aqueducts in Rome, the Catskill Aqueduct brings water to the city by gravity. That's right, no pumps required. Water flows by gravity through the aqueduct at a rate of 4 feet per second, giving it an operational capacity of 550 million gallons per day. If that's not an engineering marvel, then I don't know what is. 
I mentioned that the aqueduct has been operational since 1915. This means that the Catskill Aqueduct has been quenching the thirst of New Yorkers for over a hundred years. It is the silent hero that serves us all. The New York DEP is currently working on significant upgrades to rehabilitate the aqueduct. So far, progress has been good. If successful, the Catskill Aqueduct should be able to bring water to New Yorkers for at least a hundred more years. As someone who's lived in many different cities throughout the United States, I can attest that New York City has some of the best tap water I've ever had. If you know a city with better tap water than New York, make sure to post it in the comment section. I'm interested to know. Also, don't forget to download the Cityscape app if you want to find cool secret spots in your city. And if you have a cool secret spot in your neck of the wood, don't forget to post it on the Cityscape app so that scouts like me can come check it out. That's it for this episode, guys. I'll see you next time. Scout life.